The moon is indeed a tantalizing prize. The Chinese have their lander and rover there now. Japan and India will be next. South Korea has an interest along with Russia, Canada, France, Italy and the United Kingdom. Private Enterprise has had a prod with the Google Lunar X prize. The $30 million prize pales beside the glory of being the first private company to land a robot on the moon and to explore at least 500 meters and transmit high-definition images back to Earth. So far, there are four hot contenders. The Barcelona Moon Team, a consortium of companies headed by Galactic Suite Design, their interests lie in space technology and industry with a strong focus on tourism. Penn State Lunar Lion Team. Faculty and students are developing a spacecraft to land on the moon, then lift off again and relocate to fulfill the prize requirements. Moon Express is a group of space and Silicon Valley entrepreneurs looking to mine the moon for its valuable resources like platinum, titanium and the rare isotope helium-3. Finally, Astrobotic Technology, a Pennsylvania-based company with support from other companies including Alcoa and Caterpillar. They have already reserved a launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle. Getting to the moon is one thing, staying there is another. It was one thing to go for a handful of days in Apollo and go when you knew that the sun was quiet or you hoped the sun stayed quiet uh, and, and you, you took the risk, you calculated the, the risk of cancer and, and such and, and you made a short mission. If you're going to live there longer, you need, to, you need to understand it well enough to go, here's what I need to do to protect myself. One of the things that we're looking for uh, in the LRO mission is uh, how the high radiation environment af affects our ability to explore. So if we bring cameras or communication devices, you know, how will they be impacted by the cosmic radiation? We, we need to uh, protect our equipment as well as ourselves. We want to be able to go back to the moon so that we can live there for long periods and work on the moon. So we need a mission that can help us find the best places to go and determine how to go back there safely. Access to solar power uh, continuously, that may be the first and most important reason over uh, you know, the near term. And then the possibility of uh, resources being there. Those may take much longer time before we're able to really exploit those. But the solar power is something we, we can exploit right away. Whether it's water ice to have water, or uh, potential minerals that we could use as raw materials to make into things that we would need. All the major players have designed and planned many varieties of lunar bases. NASA, ESA and private contractors have concepts on the drawing board. As more information comes in from the lunar satellites on the environment, resources and dangers of cosmic radiation, these plans evolve. One of the latest is to use 3D printing technology. With all the challenges and difficulties, many have made firm commitments to establishing bases within 10 to 15 years. Some for scientific research, others for commercialization and tourism. Some would choose not to send test pilots and scientists, but stewardesses and sommeliers. When we look back on what we did in LRO and we look at what followed, I think we'll see a profound impact. We'll see us as really being you know, the, the small first step where we have human beings permanently off this planet, beginning to move out into the solar system, starting with the moon. As that pans out, I think, I think we'll, we'll be a small piece of, of a profound development that when history looks back, say this time we went back to the moon, this time we, we, we stayed and we, and we moved on from there. As we continue to study the moon, our understanding of it improves, giving us new insights not only into how it has evolved over time, but also how other rocky planets in our solar system have come to look the way they do. With new missions, new instruments and new technologies, we will continue to improve our knowledge of the moon and better understand the history of our solar system.